In today's assignment, you're going to be working on a Google Doc. And in that Google Doc, you are going to be working on a title and then subtitles and then making lists. One will be a bulleted list and then one will be with numbers. So let's go ahead and get started. This is an example of what your project should look like by the end. So this is the finished product, but you are going to start with a blank document. So when you open up your document, it's going to be just like this. And your job is to pause as we go and type everything as I instruct you to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to do the title, which is all about me. So I want you just to start typing all about me. The next thing is I want you to use the enter button two times. That will take you to the next line. So pause the video and add your title. Now we're going to do a subtitle. Now we're not changing the size of anything yet. We're going to do that at the end. So right now our subtitle is going to be my favorite foods. Then I'm going to press enter one time. So pause and do that now. After this, we're going to add a bulleted list of your favorite foods, and you're going to write five favorite foods. So this is how we're going to do our bulleted list. Right now, before we start, we're going to go ahead and come up here to the toolbar, and you can either just click it once, and then it's going to start with the default, which is the circle bullet. If you want to choose another type of bullet, all you have to do is click the arrow beside that one, and then you can choose whichever one you prefer. I'm going to stick with the circle bullet. Now you can type five of your favorite foods. If you'd like to use the ones I'm doing, just to be easier, you can. I'm going to add pizza and then press enter. When you press enter, it's going to automatically put in your next bullet ice cream, apples, chicken nuggets, pancakes. These are just examples. Go ahead and type those now. Now that you've added your five favorite foods, you're going to press enter one more time and you notice it gives you another bullet. I don't want another bullet, so I'm just going to press enter again and then it realizes I don't need another one and it deletes it. Then I'm gonna press enter one more time. Go ahead and do that now. Now we're going to do our second list and the subtitle for this is called Steps to Get Ready for School. And then I'll press enter one time. Stop and do that now. Now for this list, we're going to make it a numbered list. It's very similar to our bullet list. All you have to do is go to the top and choose the number. Now you can click beside and you'll see what your numbers are going to look like. Let's just choose the first one. Now, once you click that, it's the same type of thing, except when you press enter, it's going to type numbers instead of bullets. So I'm going to start typing my list of what I do in the morning, wake up, eat breakfast, get dressed, brush teeth, go to school. Go ahead and stop and do that now. Now, if you press enter, the same thing will happen and you can press enter again and then you don't have that number. But right now, we have typed everything. That's what's going to take the most time. Now we're going to go back and format because remember, we want it to look like this. So this has a title that is a lot larger. We have a subtitle that's larger as well. So we want to make everything look the same. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to highlight my first line. Now there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can double click or just keep clicking. When I kept clicking, I put my cursor right in front and I clicked about three times and then it highlighted. Or you could press your um, 
press your green button and then just move your mouse over. Sometimes when I find I do that, it moves letters around. So I prefer to either just triple click or sometimes you can just not sometimes I prefer to use shift and then my arrow keys. So if I just did shift and my down arrow, it does it all in one step for that one row. Now, what I want to do is I want to select my style text because Google Docs already has it set up that you can have a certain style of text. And it's right here where it says normal text. That's the default, but I want it to be the title. So I'm just going to click title and it go and it went ahead and it changed it for me. So that has the size. It's changed the font because I've set up the default for this and it's bold. But I want to go back and see that I have put this in the center. You do not have to just press your space bar to put it in the center. So now that it's highlighted, I'm going to click over here to the align and indent, and I can click there and choose the second option, and it puts it in the middle. All right, do that now. Now it's time for you to highlight my favorite foods. So just go ahead and do a triple click in front of my favorite foods. And now we're going to choose this as subtitle, so not the font, over here beside the font, and we're just going to click subtitle. I'm going to go back and see it's looking a lot more like our example. Now, pause and do that. Now that we have my favorite foods in subtitle, we're going to do the same thing for steps to get ready for school. So just put your cursor here, triple click, and then now go to normal text, click and press subtitle. So let's look at our example and let's look at our document. It looks the same. If yours looks the same as this example, then you know you've done it right and you can turn it in.